Once again, watchers of good movies, my name is Nick Powell, and this is my review of The Nun. Now, if you're not aware, this is the fifth film in the Conjuring franchise. We have the two Conjuring films, we have the two Annabelle films, and now we have The Nun, the most recent spinoff of the Conjuring films. And this one was also set the earliest in the time frame of those films as well. It takes place in the 1950s as opposed to the other films, which take place later on in the 60s, 70s, and now presumably the 80s with the third Conjuring film coming up soon. And the general plot of this film is that the Vatican sends this priest and this nun who has not yet taken her vows to this old cathedral chapel area uh, where a nun has committed suicide. They're trying to figure out what has happened and if this land is still holy. Damien Bichir, he plays the priest in this film. He does a very good job in his role. He's kind of like this movie's version of the Warrens to an extent. He's, like I said, he's kind of an expert more or less on the paranormal aspects which are going on in this film. I'm probably butchering this, but Tysa Farmiga, she is the sister of Vera Farmiga from the main Conjuring films. And and uh, she plays the nun in this film, uh, or at least the one who's going to be a nun, not the evil demon thing. She also does a good job. She is arguably the star of this film. She is like the last survivor person. Um, and yeah, I liked her role as well because uh, we started off seeing her as like this basically a school teacher, um, not yet taking her vows. And then she's eventually summoned uh, by the Vatican to do this task for them. And she basically has her faith tested more or less as the film goes on. Biggest thing which really works in this film is the set pieces and the set design and just the atmosphere that that creates because once they actually get to the cathedral itself and even the, the outside surrounding it, it just provides this really eerie tension to it and this really interesting atmosphere which just makes you feel on edge the whole time that they're in this predicament. And as you would expect, this is primarily made use of uh, during nighttime scenes or the scenes which are taking place in kind of darkened areas. That's where these Conjuring films tend to kind of highlight the scares and things of that sort. And so I thought that it made use of those environments really, really well and just really, really effectively because you just have these little icons in the background. Like you have um, a cross on the wall, which you can just see in the background slowly being turned upside down like it did in The Conjuring 2. Or you have like a, um, cro a giant cross with like Jesus on the cross um, and you have like Jesus' head missing. And it's just little things like that, which is just like, you know something not good is happening in this place. The use of music in this film also kind of highlights that as well because um, just kind of how it is not used as well as just when it is used really effectively just works really well. And it helps to add a lot of levels of suspense and fear and things of that sort. In regards to the scares, which is probably what you're most curious about, um, for me, it was not as scary as I was really expecting it to be. It does its job very well. I did jump at some points, but for the most part, the film didn't really terrify me that terribly much for whatever reason, I don't really know why. But uh, my friend who I went to the film with, she was terrified. So uh, it's going to affect people in different ways as most horror films do. So just know that going in. It's also worth mentioning that there is a good chunk of humor actually in this film surprisingly. And that's primarily through um, Jonas Bloquet's uh, Frenchy character. Um, and I, I liked his uh, smaller appearances in the film. He's not a primary character. He kind of shows up at the beginning and the end for certain things that are happening. And uh, yeah, I thought that he delivered the comedic aspects really kind of well and um, just kind of lightened the mood in otherwise really dark and suspenseful atmospheres. Only big negative, which I've also seen other places when I was kind of looking into this film before seeing it, is that there isn't a whole lot of plot. It primarily focuses on the origins of Valak, um, the, the evil nun. Um, whose name we learned in The Conjuring 2. So if you've seen that, you know more or less what this demon nun is. So it does primarily focus on that. It's a very, very focused plot in that aspect, but it doesn't really have anything else happening, no real side plots or um, a bigger thing going on in the background or anything of that sort. It just kind of goes right into its plot. Uh, dives right into the atmosphere and kind of stays there until the very end. So um, it is only about 90 minutes or hour 40 minutes, something along those lines. So it does kind of have to pick up its pace pretty quickly and um, get to the scares and the tension and all that stuff. So it makes sense, but it, yeah. <laughs> and then lastly, as you would 
more or less expect. It does uh, do a very clear connection to at least the first two Conjuring films, um, and I won't go into how or anything of that sort, but it'll be kind of obvious when you see it take place because you'll, you'll just know. Um, and so those are kind of cool connections to see take place and not things that you wouldn't necessarily thought of before. It almost makes me want to go back and watch certain scenes from those films to see if they actually line up as well as they seem to. So guys, overall, while The Nun did not necessarily see scare me as much as I was kind of hoping it would. It is a very good horror film overall. It's very well deserving to be in this Conjuring franchise, which I really, really enjoy overall. Um, and yeah, if you're a big fan of horror or The Conjuring or anything of that general sort, probably check this thing out. You will very much enjoy it, I think. And if you are not a fan of horror, you'll probably get scared out of your wits at this film. But those are my thoughts on The Nun. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe. Once again, if you should choose, I appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on watching.